Today we're inside one of the new Chevy HD pickup trucks at the Chicago Auto Show and let's take a look at some of the new trailering features that we see in GM's new heavy duty pickup truck line, the Silverado and the Sierra. With the recent launch of the new 1500 series pickup trucks, we saw some innovative camera inputs, but we see that taken to the next level here in the new 2500 and 3500 series trucks. You can see that we have a digital augmented reality view, sort of a front projection view where you can see the front of the vehicle. This is actually projection, of course, here. This is not really the truck that we're driving, but this is actually the trailer that is behind us. We have a number of different views here. We can see down the sides of the vehicle. We have cameras that are integrated into the side view mirror, right like that. You can see my hand waving around. And as you turn on the turn signal and turn the vehicle, it will actually bias the view sort of 80% one side, 20% the other. That give you a better idea of exactly what's going on there. We have a few different views here. We can look down the side right like that or we can actually combine side views and a camera feed from the rear of the trailer itself. So that's the camera view from the rear of the trailer. This particular option box is grayed out, but this is the transparent trailer option. It requires a bit of setup and of course driving the trailer around before the computer can digitally manipulate the image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a snippet here from GM's press site so you can actually see what that looks like when we're in motion. We also have our pretty typical pickup truck bed view, a hitch view right there, so you can see what's going on a little bit more easily. You can optionally get a camera feed from inside the trailer, so that way you can see what your animals or your trailer is up to, see if your dishes are falling out of the cabinet, that sort of thing. A view from the front of the truck, a view from the back of the truck, and some different hitch views there as well. We again have that bowl view up front, and then a view of the side of the front of the vehicle so that we can see exactly what you're gonna be running over. Then we have our pretty typical 360 degree view right over there. This is enabled because the new HD series of pickup trucks has more camera inputs available to it than the 1500 series pickup truck. So we actually get a different experience in that vehicle. The key difference is that the front camera in the 1500 series pickup trucks is removed in order to enable some of the other views. But this vehicle has the ability to process more camera inputs than that 1500 series truck. So that's why we get this increased functionality here. There's also basically the same trailering app that we saw in the 1500 series pickup trucks with some additions, of course, for the heavy duty series of trucks. You can diagnose connection problems. You can also download an app on your smartphone to assist you in running through this list, like the checklist for setting up your trailer, setting up the trailers themselves. And there's a cloud connected functionality that allows you to store more than five trailers up in the OnStar cloud. So if you have a ton of different trailers, don't worry, you can actually remember them all with the OnStar setup and then actually download them to your vehicle. But you can store up to five different profiles right in here. This is where you would set up things like the length of the trailer, etc., so that way you can get that transparent view functionality. That way you don't have to go through that entire setup every time you connect a different trailer. It's also worth noting that if you're a fleet customer, you'll be able to send these profiles to multiple different vehicles. So if you share trailers in a business, you can actually send them all down to your Chevy heavy heavy duty series pickup trucks and we're told that the GMC series of pickup trucks will also be able to share those profiles. The camera inputs for the trailer happen right back here just above the usual wiring harness for your trailer brake lights etc. We have two different little doors right up here where you can plug in the two different camera inputs and that effectively takes the place of the four pin wiring harness connector that we see in the rest of the truck lineup. General Motors has also created an Apple CarPlay and Android Auto app that will allow you to do certain things while you're in motion via the display functionality in their head unit. At the moment, the only thing we've been able to see is the trailer control section. They've partnered with ASA Electronics to control features within certain compatible trailers. There are a number of them out there from uh, animal trailers to camping trailers, that sort of thing. We can do a number of different functionalities right here. Right now you can see this is the connection successful screen. We can actually control things like the lights on the trailer, exterior lights, security lights, warning lights, hallway lights, etc. all the lights that are independently controllable. You can also turn the water heater and water pumps off right there within that system. Start the heating or air conditioning system, start the generator that's in there in the trailer, and then we have access to certain sensors as well. At this point in time, we're not quite sure what additional functionality will be enabled via this particular app and integration into CarPlay and Android Auto, but we are told that this will be fully available once this vehicle is on sale. So the day that you run out and buy your new 2500 or 3500, you should expect to see this app available in the App Store, and then additional functionalities are likely going to come over time.